Bet you didn't see that coming. Hi everybody, this is Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. Today I have got a jewelry mystery box unboxing for you. This one is from ThreadUp. It's a five pound DIY box. This box comes from Swanee, Georgia. Let's open this guy up. Here's the first look at the bag. And here is the other side. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see what goodies are inside. Here is the first piece I'm pulling out, and this is a clamper bracelet. It's got some gray and clear stones. They're faceted. This is actually in very good shape. I don't see a maker's mark on this one. Isn't this pretty, though? Why not try it on? There it is. And by the way, if you see anything that you might be interested in purchasing from this video, send me an email. I've got it right here on the screen. It's kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com and we will work out a price. This is a cute necklace. It is a clamshell pendant necklace. There are some crystals on the outside. I can see that there's one crystal missing, but still, take a look. When I open this up, it's in two parts. How cute. It's There's a pearl inside. This one is on a rope chain. The chain is very pretty and it's in pretty good shape. It looks new. The clamshell though on the outside, it does have a little bit of wear, some marks on there. You can probably see that. This one is finished with a lobster clasp and an extender and there is a little heart charm and there is a mark on the other side that I saw. And you know what? I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Does anyone recognize this S on here? The magnet doesn't seem to want to stick to the pendant and the, the necklace, the chain part, it is sticking. So I don't think this is sterling silver, this pendant, but it's worth a try. I guess I could, I could test it, but just looking at it, I just don't think that it is. I'll test it and I'll put on the screen right here if I found it to be sterling silver. It's a very sweet pendant though. I love this one. Here's a great looking set of bangles. There are about 20 to 25 bangles here in mixed metal, silver tone, gold tone, even maybe some brass tone. I don't know if they belong together, but you certainly could wear them all together like this. I think they're pretty. And I looked and did not see a maker's mark on these, but it's a great group. So I'll put those aside, maybe sell them on eBay. Look at this mamma jamma of a necklace here. Whoa, this is a very fun statement necklace. It's got these fuchsia cabochons. There are faceted, they're plastic. There are crystals around each piece. And I also noticed that the sides have some detailing. There are these tiny hot pink beads around each part of the pendant. There's a gold tone chain attached to this, and I think this was added later maybe to replace a previously broken chain, but even the chain is kind of worn and this doesn't really fit in there, but it's pretty clever. No maker's mark on this one. I'm going to be adding this to the craft lot. I just thought it was super fun and I wanted to show it to you. Well, this is interesting. This, I think, is a belt. Pretty sure it's a belt. It has four strands of chain, like a flattened curb chain, and it is attached to a ribbon. And there is a label on this somewhere. It was hanging off. Let's see if I can find it. There you are. It's see, it's hanging off. It says Donna Karen Collections. Now it says petite small. So this has got to be a belt. So I'm guessing you would wear the front of the belt draped, the chain part, and then you would tie it in the back. But petite, small, I don't know. It seems like this could fit almost, it would be like a one size fits most. Go figure. But uh, this chain is actually quite pretty. The finish on it is lovely. 
This might give you a better idea of what the chain looks like. So if you didn't want to wear it as a belt, it definitely would be easily converted into a necklace. I'm going to look this one up to see if it's sellable as a belt and then take it from there. Next is this brand new pair of earrings still on the card. The maker on this is suede, the Suede Arrow and these are suede earrings. They're a teardrop shape and they have an interesting texture design stamped into them. I love the gold color of them. They're yellowish gold, mustardy gold and very cool. Now I've never heard of the suede arrow and there's no price or anything on the back but yeah I like these. These are really sweet. These are all matched earrings but they all have issues. Mostly issues of wear. These would be cute but they are missing the backs and one of the backs on these wooden earrings are missing. They're all going in the craft lot. This is a cute ring and it's missing the top. Here's the other little sparrow that goes there. Too bad it's broken. This one is a Betsy Johnson. I just saw the signature inside. There it is, but if it's broken, it's got to go in the craft lot. Here's a pretty necklace. The pendant on this necklace is fabulous. This is an agate slice and it's translucent. You can see my finger back there. And look at the crystals around it. This has got clear crystals and then another layer of gold crystals. This is also double-sided, so the crystals appear on both sides. And I do not see any missing crystals on this. This is wonderful. The cord on this is a polished cord. I think it's a cotton cord. It has like a braided effect to it. Really great shape. And there is a an extender on there with a lobster clasp and there's no maker's mark on this one. It's a great looking necklace. This is one I can sell. I was so happy to see this necklace. I love faux tortoise shell and the links. I like the design of this. It's a two strand necklace but then I picked it up and I discovered it was broken. It's broken in two places on the shorter strand and on the longer strand. So if there's a way I can fix this I will. Those links are so pretty. This one has a toggle clasp closure. And there that is. And it has an, is it Ann Taylor or J. Crew? Which is that? This is an Ann Taylor necklace. If this is not an easy fix, sadly, I will have to put it in the craft lot. A couple more I'm not keeping. There are issues with all of these items. These are super cute earrings, but there are all sorts of beads missing from them. They're little dream catchers. And same with these, cute, but they have some scratches and some issues. Some loose beads, a ribbon bracelet, and a headband that's kind of turning. It's made with rhinestones. These are off to the bag. Oh, crafts. Here is a very delicate pendant necklace. A pendant heart with little CZs all around. Pabe style. I love it. And it is on the most delicate chain. And by the way, it just feeds right through the top of the heart here. Let me show you that. That's where the necklace feeds through. And that chain is so very delicate. There is the spring clasp on it. And there is something stamped on that little link. There's the little link that reads 925 and also on the spring clasp you can also make out 925 I think. If you ever come across a necklace with that flat little link on there, check it very closely to see if it's stamped because oftentimes precious metal items will have that flat link there. Here's a look at the back of the necklace which is also stamped 925. I'm going to check this with the magnet just to make sure. I think this is sterling silver. I'm going to test it and read your screen right here and I'll let you know the result of the test, whether or not it was sterling silver. This necklace is going in my cell pile. This is another pretty necklace. I think that this is homemade. There are a couple of pieces here that need to be reattached that little cluster of crystals being one of them and then there's another cluster right here. That is a very easy fix. I am wondering if this this chain might be sterling silver. I'm going to give this a test although that looks like it is kind of drawing. But I'll go ahead and give it a test and let you know on the screen right here whether it is sterling silver or not. But it is quite a pretty necklace I think. 
Here's a better look at the crystals. Really pretty, very sparkly. Love the way they catch the light. First I found this, then I found this, and then I found this. <laughs> they are all brand new watch bands. Uh, these are those rubberized ones, and this one is an embroidered one. This one has a stamp on the back that says Genuine Leather, 18 millimeters. So I thought those were an interesting find. Then I found this, a fossil watch. How cool is that? This is, a, the face is surrounded by crystals and it's got that rubber, no, I wanna say silicone. That's the word I was looking for, silicone band. It doesn't look to be running right now. I think that's a pretty easy fix, just adding a battery. It looks like it's in great shape. I do have some schmudges on there, probably from my fingers, um, but I'm thrilled with this. This box is pretty cool. I think this is a good box so far. So I'm really, 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 really happy with this box. And by the way, it just occurred to me to check to see if these could fit. And this one looks like it could. The pink one, it looks like it could. And this embroidered leather band, it also looks like it could. So that's quite interesting. This is a choker necklace, all round beads, graduated sizes. I would call the color like a burgundy rust. They are plastic beads. The necklace is in great shape. The beads look great. It's finished with an extender and a lobster clasp and there is no brand on this one. Same idea as a previous necklace, but this one's longer and in navy blue. They are graduated beads again, finished with a lobster clasp right there. Here is a pair of earrings on the card. The card says Marvella. They look like they could be vintage, $35.99 with a mark out clip earring, it says. And looks like made in Taiwan, $15. Let's take a closer look at the earring. Here it is up close. It's got like a translucent edge to it and it's irregular. It was designed that way in a little white plastic cabochon and they are indeed clip earrings. Now I am looking for that Marvella mark and I am not seeing anything that says Marvella. Now I'm pretty sure that all of their items are stamped. So I'm not sure if they are Marvella. I will look more into this pair of earrings, but they are really cool, whether they're Marvella or not. I like them. This is a super delicate necklace, very feminine. This is a choker length necklace. I love the clear dangles all around the necklace. A very, very delicate chain. And with a close-up on that spring clasp, I am seeing that it's stamped a 925. You may or may not be able to see it. I'm not sure if it's showing up. Let's see if it's magnetic. It isn't. I will definitely test this. I think this is sterling silver, but I'll test it and put on the screen right here whether or not it tested as sterling silver. This is really cute. I'm loving this necklace. Here are three identical rings, just costume pieces, gold band, black enamel hearts. Let's see what size they are. Ring number one is a size six and three quarters. Ring number two is a six and three quarters. Ring number three is a six and three quarters. And there you go, three cute black heart rings. This is a pretty awesome novelty ring. They are fuchsia sunglasses, black enamel here. They do have some nicks on the fuchsia frames and it's an adjustable ring and it's a two fingered ring. Very cute. Another novelty ring, this is a teal colored enamel star. Again, it's adjustable, pretty cute. Pow, bet you didn't see that coming. <laughs> this is another novelty ring, another adjustable novelty ring. No, it isn't either, it's not adjustable. So we will size that. This is gold tone with a black enamel paint for the lettering. And this one is a size, hmm, this is a size five. 
This is a very attractive necklace. It's gold tone. It's got smaller roller chain there and then some graduated textured links in gold tone. The necklace is very attractive. There's a closer look at the links, but as I went through the necklace, and I'm not sure if it's going to come across on the camera, there is some wear on the gold finish on these. So I probably, yeah, I'm going to put this in the craft lot. This one is a Banana Republic. This is the Banana Republic Maker's Mark. Here's a beautiful necklace. It's Victorian style. It's made with these antique to gold toned components, these little links. And between each one are tiny beads and this beautiful caged faceted stone. I am going to pull you in closer to show you. Here is that pendant. It's a green stone. I'm pretty sure that's adventuring. And it has this open work cage on there. Here's the side view. Isn't that gorgeous? And then the other side is the same. Absolutely beautiful. Here's what the chain looks like and the beads in between all the components. And it does have a maker's mark on it. The maker on this is Jan Michaels. Even the extender is pretty. Look at the pretty chain. I love the details on this necklace. This one I will definitely sell. These earrings are pretty cool. I like the round top, the semicircle bottom. Very geometric, very simple, mod looking. I really like them. I think this is some sort of resin. They're probably homemade. I don't know what that material is exactly. These are pierced. I just like these. They have sort of a mod feel to them. These are going to get sold. These are really great. Here's a knotted bracelet. Let's get that into focus a little bit better. There we go. It is brass, I believe, and it's really small. It's probably a child's bracelet. I cannot even fit it over uh, past my knuckles there. So I, yeah, I think it's a child's bracelet in brass. I am going to put the magnet on it. It's not magnetic, so it's a child's bracelet. I may try to sell that. Here are three very similar bracelets. They are woven crystals, really pretty color combinations. These two here have one lobster clasp each on each end, and this doesn't have any kind of jump ring. My thinking is possibly that another lobster clasp belongs on each side and attaches to a watch head. Have you guys ever seen those watches? Uh, where they're interchangeable bands. I think that's the case with these two, or at least it could be. On this particular one, this has one of those closures at the end. I wanted to show you the closure up close. It has a little snap style knob at the end. It fits right into that little donut. Like so. I don't know if that's coming apart or if it's, no, that's just a knot that needs to be cut off at the end with that thread. I thought I would try this on. I really like the colors in this. Cute. Coming up next, let's get it into focus, is a fabric bracelet. It has a ribbon sewn around and look at that, seahorses. So it's a navy blue gross grain ribbon sewn to a panel. Let's see. Oh, there's a button. And the button says Keel James Patrick. This is new to me. I'll have to look this up. Let's open it up. Another label inside. Again, it says Keel James Patrick, handmade in Rhode Island, size medium. I like the inside pattern as well. I've never seen these before and I have a feeling they might have a following. So interesting. I will look this up and learn more about it. Next is a necklace on a gold chain and check out this pendant. I absolutely love it. This is a faux turquoise kind of a horn pendant and it's wrapped with all of these crystals front and back. I love this and this tassel, the chain tassel has like that green patina look to it. Let's lay this out. 
this necklace is a lot of fun it really is so unique and it's on a just a plain gold chain a mini curb chain i call it um it there's no maker's mark it has a lobster clasp closure and an extender i had to show you up close on this pendant i just love this thing and now you can see a better look also at this uh, chain that it's on why don't i just scoot the little tassels in the shot here <laughs> I love it. I just love it. It was nice to find all the matches to these earrings. Four pair of cloisonne earrings. They are on the smaller side, not super tiny, but they are smaller and I think they are so pretty. Here's a closer look at the ones on top. I like the colors, ivory, red, and blue. Very cute flower designs. Here's a closer view of the rectangular ones. Th this pair on the left, silver tone with a black frame and flower design in the center. And these are gold tone and you can see there's a butterfly and a flower. I love all of these earrings. I think I'm gonna sell all four together in a lot. All of these pieces here are going in the craft lot. They're just different components. Looks like part of a necklace. And these two pieces here, the earrings and the necklace are fading a ribbon necklace. There are some cuff bracelets here with a saying. I'll show you in a second. And then some plastic beads. This necklace is coming apart and the beads are falling off. Here's a look at the bracelets. This one says, let me get it focused. Happiness is a choice. Choose wisely. And this one says, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Here are three very chunky statement necklaces. The one in the center are faceted plastic beads. They are, I'd say, a taupe color, a very light taupe tan color. I like the shape of the beads a lot. I like the combination. This one here is very well made. This, even though they are plastic faceted beads, there is a nice weight to this one. I love the color combination on that. And then this one is that olive green oval pendants, the big one in the center going up. This chain on this is a serpentine chain. It's a little bit faded. It's gold, but it's, it's fading a little. None of them have maker's marks on them. Coming out next is this bangle bracelet. It has a Greek key design on it. This is pretty, and I am seeing something inside of this bracelet. A stamp, that is. Where are you, stamp? There we go. Taxco, Mexico. This is a sterling silver bracelet. I am going to put the magnet on it just to see. It's not magnetic. That's a great sign. For sure, I will test this. Check your screen right here to see what I found. In the meantime, let's weigh this thing. All right, this weighs 14.22 grams. Nice. Here's a look at the bracelet on. It's very pretty. It needs to be cleaned up just a little bit, but wow, what a score. I'm loving this box. What do you guys think? Here are three pair of screw back earrings, all matched. It's funny, this week I'm getting a lot of matched pair of earrings. In last week's box, I don't think I had any matches except for I think one pair that was already on the card. Anyway, um, these are all looking like vintage. These are little, I think these are knots or similar to knots there. And uh, gold tone on these guys. And these are silver balls. I guess I'd say there is something on the bottom of these. Let's take a look. There's a stamp on those that say Barclay. And I'm thinking those are vintage. I think all of these are vintage actually. So I'll have to check out Barclay online. I don't know what the value would be if I listed them. Let's take a look at these guys. These are screw backs and they flip or hinge. I'm not sure what you call that. Uh, not seeing any mark on these. And now I will check these earrings. These earrings also do not appear to have a mark on them. Gonna take the magnet to each one. Those are magnetic. These are magnetic. 
These are not magnetic, so I will test these. I'll let you know on the screen right here whether they are sterling or not. And I'm going to check out listing these for the brand name as well, Barclay. Next, I have a set of bracelets. Now, I do not know for sure if these belong together, but they are the exact same color of gold. And I think the design, at least in these two, are similar. This one looks fine with it, I think. Um, so aren't these pretty? This is a simple twisted design. And this one here, it's the widest of all. Look at the detailed design on that. There's a mesh under panel there with some swirls and these little dots inside of little rectangles. I just think this is so pretty. And then the final one is this one. So I think those are fabulous together and I like this set. I've got a few rings to show you. These two are going in the craft lot because there are some missing crystals. They are costume rings. This one is adjustable and this you could say is adjustable. Going in the craft because they're missing some crystals. This ring, I had this exact same one either last week or the week before. Interesting, huh? <laughs> So um, I've got a ring a lot that I'm putting together. This will probably go there. This is a set of stacking rings. These are made by Lucky Brand. You can see inside it says Lucky You. And I think these are a size 7. I will double check. Yes, they are. These are a size 7. I've got another gold tone bracelet. It's really cute too. Very unique. This is a bangle bracelet with branches so branches or twigs isn't that pretty it's got some texture to it and here is a look at it on my wrist cute very cute here is a bracelet and necklace set this is really pretty very feminine faux pearls and crystal rhinestone details it does not have a maker's mark but you know what i had you guys familiar with charter club it's a macy's jewelry brand and they often don't have jewelry tags on their things. And this reminds me of one of their pieces. Here's a closer look at the components. This reminds me of something a bride could wear. Very pretty set, and I can sell this. Look at this beautiful ring. I'm pretty sure this stone is Lermar, and I am certain it is, well, I am 99% sure that it's sterling silver. It is stamped right there on the back. I love the stone on this. I like the shape of it as well. Wow, very nice. I am loving this thread up box. Let's get a better close up of this. There we go. Oops, too bright. Okay, how's that? I'm going to go ahead and size this, and this size is a, hmm, I would call this a seven and a half, it looks like. Here comes the magnet test, and I did not expect it to be magnetic. I will test it, and here is what I found. The next few pieces I'm going to show you are bracelets. There are a lot of bracelets in this lot, and look how cute this one is. It took me a while, but I finally figured out that these are little Mickey Mouse heads, little cluster bracelets, silver tone. Let me see if I can get this clearer for you. There we go. That's super cute. Stretch bracelet. I love it. Okay, you Mickey Mouse fans out there, look what I found. <laughs> this is really cute. Another bracelet. This is a cuff bracelet. I like the design on this one. I'm looking for a mark. Is there one? It feels like a nice piece. Let's get that back into focus there. Well, I'm not seeing a mark, but let's try this baby on. There we are. This is pretty. This can be adjusted tighter, but my, my wrists are kind of small, but I like the design on this. So yeah, I think I will sell this one. Oh, you know what? I should put the magnet to it. I didn't do that. Let's see what happens. Hmm. 
It's not magnetic. It doesn't mean that it is sterling silver. There are no marks on this one. I'll go ahead and test it. Let's see what I found out by looking at the screen right here where I put the results. The next bracelet coming out is a stretch bracelet. These are faceted beads and they do feel like natural stone. They are cold. Um, let me show you closer. A really cool finish on these. It's like they are dipped on each end or painted. What do you suppose that is? I don't think I've ever seen a bead like that. Uh, there is this cool little crystal disco bead in there, but you can see there are a couple of missing crystals on that. Someone could restring this and add a new bead or just uh, completely leave that one out. I like the arrowhead charm on this also. That also feels like natural stone, but I wouldn't begin to know what stone this one is. This has like a gold edging to it. I like this bracelet. This is really different. Let me back out a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Yep, I like this one. Here's another bracelet. It's unique. It's kind of got a boho feel to it. You can see there is like a pretty design on the outer edge and it's got these cute little dangles on it. Silver tone, not seeing any kind of mark. I don't think that's sterling, but why not try it out? Nope, it isn't. <laughs> Definitely not. Here is another bracelet. This one has a cute little heart charm on it with red crystals, and it's on a wheat chain, silver tone. I don't think that's sterling. Nope, the magnet likes it too much for it to be sterling. Um, let me get this off of here. Okay, so this is very cute. It's got a little spring clasp on it. And this has something on the back. And this says Da Vinci. So this is a Da Vinci charm on this bracelet. It seems really short. I'm going to measure this to see how long it is. End to end, this measures just under seven and a quarter inches. Very dramatic. This is such a cool piece. It's a boho piece, tribal maybe. It's brass tone, antique brass tone. It's pretty long. Isn't this the coolest? Here's the end of it, and I'm gonna just pull it down to show you closer, all the way up. And here comes the separation on each side of the neck there. They've got this scroll work at the end on this piece here, and of course, there is the chain. I'll take you in closer to that. Here we go, and there's the end. Aren't these square pieces cool? And isn't the chain wonderful? Someone's gonna love this necklace. I'm definitely putting this in the cell pile. What we have here is a snake pendant necklace. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna show you this snake up close. Check him out. Look at those green crystal eyes. His body is covered with black crystals and he's got some white right around his neck there, or clear, I should say. And look at this, he moves. Psst. <laughs> he moves, pretty cool. There's two places there that he moves. I, I like this guy, although I don't really like snakes. This is a cool pendant. Here's what the chain looks like on this guy. Really pretty, it's gold tone. And the end is finished with a lobster clasp and it has this heart jewelry tag on here. Help me out, where have I seen this heart before? I can't recall. Does anyone know the name of this logo or the brand of this logo? Let me know down in the comment section if you do. The chain is turning a bit, especially in the back, but that would be an easy fix. You could certainly change out the chain. Uh, I don't know what I would ask for this. I have to kind of look online to see, but I like this snake pendant. Here's another pair of matched earrings. These are super cool. They are oval-shaped concho earrings. Silver tone. I don't know if they are sterling. We're going to look at the marks. Oh, well, we might not have to look to see if they're marked because they are magnetic, but they are really cool. They are 
not bad in weight. I mean, they're not super, super heavy where it would uh, hang on your ear too hard, but um, they have a nice weight to them. These are clips, and I am going to just double check to see if there's a name on these, and I am not seeing one, but I think these would definitely sell. I like them, and they feel like a quality pair of earrings. We have another match set of earrings. These are more lightweight. They're super cute. They have these heart blue heart charms and then these gold polished overlay charms and some gold tone dangles. Really sweet pair of earrings. The next pair of matched earrings is this pair of dangles. These are fluorescent orangey pink. This is a plastic stone. It's faceted, it's teardrop shaped, and it is set in gold tone. These are super fun. This is the last pair of matching earrings from this lot. This is a brand new pair from Claire's. They are lightweight, very cute. They have these metal charms. These are leaves in ivory and then gold tone, faux pearls on there. The retail price on these are $7.50. That's a pretty cute pair of earrings, I think. This is the rest of the earrings from this jewelry lot. They are all singles, no matches for these. The ones in the front right there in the middle, they are stamped with fossil. And I suspect that this one right here could be J. Crew, But none of them have their matches. They're all so cute, so pretty. And what we're looking at here are the rest of the rings from this lot. And I kind of kept these aside because I suspect they're all sterling silver. And this one right here, you can probably see from this angle, is stamped with 925. I'll take a closer look at the rest, but I'm going to take the magnet to it right now, and to all of them, and see what happens. That one is not sticking. This one is, so I guess that is not sterling silver. But let me show you closer. This is what it looks like, and I will put this aside. Let's continue with the magnet. Oop, that one looks like it fooled me. That's not sterling silver. And finally, well, now what do we have here? Ah, uh, there's a bead on there that seems to be sticking. But what about the rest of this guy? Oop, it just keeps sticking to that. I have a feeling that this part is sterling. Here's a closer look at that last ring we were just looking at. I think what I'm seeing here is a garnet bead, a sterling silver bead, and that darker one is a hematite bead, which I think makes sense why it was sticking to the magnet, because that is a magnetic bead. This is a wrap ring, very dainty. I'm going to give this a uh, size here. Let's see what this is. This is a size 5. It's a very sweet, dainty ring. Here's a closer look at the other ring. I'm pretty sure this is sterling silver. Let's see if we can find a mark in this. Aha! Uh -huh. We have one. There it is, 925. This too is very dainty. It's a sweet ring. And I think that could be a pink mother of pearl in there in that little heart. And let's go ahead and size this one. Okay, the size on this is a size 7. And finally, the last ring. This is very cute. These are branches with leaves all the way around the band, except for the bottom. And this is the one I think we saw, the 925. There it is, 925. I'm going to size this one as well. This looks like it's about a 5 and 3 quarters. As always, when the video's over, I will test these to make sure they're sterling. Read your screen right here, and you will know if they tested as sterling silver. I thought we were finished with the rings, but I didn't see these. These were hiding under a necklace. <laughs> these are gold tone. There's a set of three, and I like the design. They're very simple, and they've got these little tiny balls connected together, or dots. I don't know how you describe it. Um, interesting. Well, first of all, I am curious to know what the magnet might think of these rings. 
and interesting. They are not drawn to the magnet. And let's take a super close look at the inside to see if we can see any sort of marking. I decided to check all three because maybe only one would be marked. So that's what I'm doing. Very interesting. I am intrigued by these rings. I definitely think they should be tested and I will be doing that after the video. Why don't I go ahead and put the results of the test right here on the screen. And in the meantime, I am going to size these rings. And I'd say it's safe to say these would fit a size eight, maybe up to an eight and a quarter. Here is another bracelet from the lot. This lot did have a lot of bracelets. This one is stamped and the name is Madewell. So this is a great bracelet. It looks like it's never been worn. It looks brand new. It's got pretty color brown leather and it's got the, these burnished edges. I guess that's what you call them. It's an adjustable uh, snap closure there. This is in brand new condition. So this is definitely a seller. Let's keep on with the bracelets. This is a silver tone cuff bracelet and it's stamped with a message, always in my heart. Oh, it's cute. This has a maker's mark inside. Let's see what that says. Mantra band. I'm not familiar with the Mantra band brand. I'll look it up and see if I should sell it. Yep, another bracelet. This is cute. This is silver tone and it's got a few shades of blue crystals all around. Let's make sure they're all there. They are and I don't see a brand on this. This is flexible. It slips right over the wrist and I like it. This is nice. Another very pretty bracelet. This is made with clear crystals and pearls, maybe faux pearls. I'm not sure yet. And it's got a very pretty toggle clasp. It's a flower right there on the ring there. I've got to try the magnet on it to see if it could be sterling. And it could be because it's not sticking to the magnet. So that's interesting. Look how pretty this toggle clasp is. I think this is a homemade piece. Here's a closer look at all the beads. Very pretty piece. I'm going to test this toggle closure to see if it's sterling silver. So check your screen right here. I love this bracelet. This is cute. Another bracelet. Check out the detail on this one. Look at this floral design all the way around. Yeah, this is a hinged bracelet. And on each side of the flowers, there's like a trim, like little dots. And just under the flowers, see the texturing? This feels like a substantial piece. And I am seeing something in there. It is a stamp that says, oh wow, Whiting and Davis. I don't think I've ever had a Whiting and Davis piece in any of my boxes. What a beautiful bracelet. So glad it was in this box. I am definitely putting this bracelet in my cell pile. Next is a silver tone pendant necklace. I love the details on this. You can see the more polished tree of life in the center and it's surrounded by this little frame that has almost, I think they're enamel painted uh, little designs on there. And I believe there's a hinge. Yes, this is a locket. Let's open this up. This is cute. Look, someone stuck their picture in there. That is so sweet. This is like a matte finish on the back. I like this. Here's a better look at the chain. The chain has like a texture to it. That's very pretty also. The end is finished with a toggle clasp. I don't see any markings on this at all. The locket is magnetic and so is the chain. Even though this is a fashion piece, it's pretty unique. I love the finish of the silver and the fact that it's a working locket is fabulous. Here's a necklace that looks like it should be branded. This should have some sort of logo or jewelry mark on it, but it doesn't. Look at this beautiful pendant that dangles from it. 
This has the teal colored floral details, there are metal leaves there, and some blue, different blue and teal crystals. These move, these are dangles, how beautiful. The rest of the necklace is also gorgeous. There are these blue painted enamel floral links, and then these different colored charms and teals and blues going all the way up the necklace. Then as you come to the end, it's finished with these round faceted blue beads and it is finished with a lobster clasp closure. Well, this necklace gets two thumbs up from me. I just love it. It's absolutely beautiful. Thanks for spending time with me today. Let me know your thoughts about this box in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more unboxings like this, check out those two videos that you see on the screen right here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.